My dear boy, my time is short. I write this so that you may know what transpired on that fateful day, long, long ago. I often hear you ask about it, though not as much now that you have children of your own. You would ask me how your mother and I met, what I did for work, and what gave me the bumps and bruises I so often endured. Well, I will tell you the truth. It started when I was 15 years old. It started with a phone call. Hello? Hey, Mark, it's me, Jared. I know. So, are you coming over today? I just got Karate Kick 3. You and your fighting games, why do you even keep getting new ones? I mean, you're so good at combat, you beat all your games in a week, regardless of which one it is. You can fight better than anybody I know. Well, you know how I am. I just love the choreography that goes into fighting, you know? I think I want to write action scenes for a movie someday. Or, or maybe- Look, Jared, I can't come over today. My mom kept me out all morning, and now she's out doing who knows what while I'm home doing school. Man, I finished my school for today. Well, I haven't. And that's just how things are sometimes when you're homeschooled like us. Someone's at the door, and my mom's been expecting something in the mail. I've got to go. Okay, man. See you later. Hello? Hello? There's no one there. That's weird. Well, back to school, I guess. That came from downstairs. Someone's broken in. I've gotta hide. I think somebody's here. I think you're right. Let's move. Where would he hide, though? Well, there's only one place to hide on such short notice. Aha! Gotcha! Ugh. Hey! Ah. What's going on? Ah. He's beating me with a tap! Ah. Ah. That's true! Ah. Get over here! Ow. Help! I'll do better than that. Don't you move, little kid, or you'll regret it. Wha 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 why are you here? None of your business, so shut up. We're just gonna load some nice things into our convertible and be on our way. So stay put until we leave. Hey, my window is over the driveway. If the convertible is open, Hey, what's that noise? It, uh, it's the kid! Come on! Get him! Uh, uh, stop right there, kid! Uh, after him! This thing is on! The key's in the transmission, maybe... I've seen Dad do it enough. Then again... Uh, here goes nothing! Oh, this is harder than I thought. Okay, I can do this. Gas, brake, and... What's this pedal in the middle for? Oh! Red light! Oh, now all I gotta do is figure out what I'm gonna do next. Surprise! What the? Whoa, where, where am I? Is this the police station? No. Whoa, who are you? Am I in the principal's office? Close, Mark. But not quite. How do you know my name? What is this place? Allow me to explain. I am the chief of the most secret organization the United States has ever known. You are sitting in the headquarters of Control. Control? Secret organization? It seems I've heard all that somewhere before. Someone found out about us and decided to take money off of us by fictionalizing what we do for entertainment. But the public doesn't know that we're real. How did I get here? My house is being robbed! I've gotta call the police! It's alright, Mark. You can relax. The entire break-in was staged. Staged? You mean, like, pretend? That's right. But the guns, and the car, it couldn't have been. Oh, come now, Mark. If it was real, then how come the robber didn't fight back while you were beating him with your shoe? How come no bullets hit you when the front door was kicked down? How did a third man know to hide in the back seat the entire time? And how could I possibly know all this? I wasn't there. 
Are you saying you were testing me? That's right. And I must say, you did a fantastic job. So, what happens now? I'll let Jared explain. Hey, Mark. This is getting a little strange. I'll see you later, Mark. Or at least, I hope so. The fighting games, choreographing fight scenes, it all makes sense. You're a spy. Loosely put, yes. How did they find me? Well, first of all, you met the qualifications to be a kid agent. You're homeschooled, you're logical, resourceful, you think fast on your feet, that kind of thing. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Did you say kid agent? That's a thing? Well, yeah, Control has two agencies, an adult one and a kid one. The adults are mostly expendables, it's kids that do most of the work. Why? Because kids are smarter, more resourceful, and they're harder to track down because there's thousands of homeschooled kids who aren't agents. So why'd they pick me? Well, 99% of the time, kid agents are considered because of the referral of another agent. You? You referred me to them? But, but why? Well, I've seen you at your best and your worst. I know you well. And I think that you'd make a great agent. Simple as that. Wow. I don't know what to say. What about you? What about me? I'm 15, but you're a week from your 18th birthday. <laughs> Less than that, actually. Four days. Four days? Yeah, it is four days. What happens to you then? Well, I'm done. Unless they hire me back as an adult. <laughs> Which almost never happens. Why not? Because... Certain adults are expendable, but 18, 19, 20, kids can't start disappearing from college. It gets messy. I see. So what are we doing? Where are we going? Actually, we're here. Sit in that chair. So you want to be an agent, right? Um, can I think about it? Look, you'll still live your normal life. No one will know. Not even Gabrielle. Dude, you're not supposed to tell anyone about me liking her. Don't spies have hidden cameras and stuff? Relax. Just sign this paper. Um, okay. Great. Now that you've signed your life over to Control until your 18th birthday, it's time for you to get the Mod Bod. This is moving faster than a NASCAR race. What is a Mod Bod? Modified body. We used to do the orientation, you know, months of training and stuff. But now they have these little pods that go into your body, and it covers almost all the training you need to know. These pods govern your instincts. Cool, huh? So, how do I get these mod bod pods? J just relax. The chair will take care of it. Hey, what? I'll see you when you wake up! Uh, uh. Whoa, my room. I'm back home. Wow, did I just randomly fall asleep? That was some dream. Mom's not home. Nothing's broken or missing. Whew wee. Glad that's over. Why would you be glad not to be a kid agent? Whoa, where did you come from? Well, I've been sitting over here ever since Control brought you home. I've been waiting for you to wake up. Ah, ha, ha. I know. I was talking in my sleep. Mom probably left the door unlocked, and now you're here just waiting to prank me, aren't you? Ah, stop kidding yourself. On your feet. You need to learn how the Mod Bod Pods work. Come on, man. None of this happened. You were just bored. You live right down the street, so since I wouldn't go to your house, you came to mine. Now, I'm gonna come at you like I'm gonna attack you, and you need to fend me off, got it? Look, man, if you wanna fight that bad, I guess I could take some time and play the game at your house. Ready? Now look, let's not do this here. Nice job. You're better than I thought you would. <sighs> how, how did I do that? I've never fought in my entire life. It's the pods. Like I said, they govern your instincts. You were just doing what the pods have forced you to do. What else do these pods do? They kind of deaden or numb things in your body, temporarily. For instance, if you caught a cold, the pods would kill it off because your cells wouldn't react. They're nearly dead. And if you sneezed on somebody, it wouldn't have an effect on them either. The pods kind of take over. Isn't that dangerous for agents then? I mean, anyone with access to Control's computer system could control an agency's body and even their mind. That's why Control is very selective. Besides, if anybody did that, they'd only get a hold of one or two agents before they were caught. So how long do these pods control my body? Well, once you're 18, Control will turn them off, which will allow them to disintegrate wherever they are. 
Your cells and organs and such will recover, you just might be a little weak for a few days. So, if I'm an agent, why am I back in my room? Well, the organization we fight against, Chaos, knows who most of Control's agents are. But when we get a new one, it takes a while for them to find out. So, you're gonna be a really big help by operating from here, your room. How can I be a spy from my room? I don't have any equipment or weapons or anything. Or so it seems. This room is rigged with guns, explosives, knives, and other weapons. And you can have access to all of them through that wristband you always wear. What? You mean this old summer camp one? Yep. It was modified too. It's a multi-purpose tool now. It works with brainwaves, so getting it to do what you want will take a little practice. Got it. But if I'm supposed to stay in hiding, waiting for chaos to track me down, what good am I doing for control? That's the spirit? Chaos is after blueprints for a very important machine, and the only copy of those blueprints are in this room. Uh, okay. Isn't that like painting a target on my forehead? Not as long as they don't find out about you. And when they do? Then someone else will be here to take my place, and together you'll defeat them. This is the best place to hide the plans, though. Control is trying to destroy Chaos, and these blueprints are a distraction. We need all the agents possible to get inside their headquarters. But Control has the odds on its side, right? I mean, we're talking about every spy in America, right? Well, yeah, but Chaos is every agent from every other country that would like to see the United States destroyed. Uh, good to know, I guess. Oh, uh, gotta go. I just got a call. Just remember, next time that somebody breaks in, it won't be staged. Chaos has all the stuff we have. The mod bods, the gadgets, the secret hiding places. They've even got kid agents, though they don't use them very often. Just be careful. Sure thing. I'll do my best. Of course. See you later. So, this wristband. Where's the nearest gun? Whoa, cool. I'd better know where everything is. Show me everything. There are the blueprints by my desk. It's in some kind of box, almost like a safe. Alright, put everything back. Hey, it's Gabrielle walking up the street. <clears throat> Good afternoon, Mrs. West. No. Hey, Gabrielle. How's it going? No. Yo, Gabby, Gabby. No. Well, if it isn't the great Gabby. No. Stop, stop calling her Gabby, Mark. Um. Uh, uh, hi. Hey, Mark. I was just gonna drop these off for your mom. They're cookies I made. Is she home? <clears throat> well, uh, as a matter of fact, she isn't. Oh, that's fine. I'll just leave them with you then. Thanks. It means a lot. Uh, to my mom. I mean, because she loves you guys, you know that? Yeah. Hey, before I go, do you have that CD of Celtic music that you borrowed from me on Wednesday? My mom wants me to write a paper on Celtic music. Oh yeah, I have it. It's in my room. I'll get it. It's, uh, around here somewhere. You know, with all the homeschool events we've done here, I've never been in your room. You haven't? Uh... Well, how do you like it? There's a lot of stuff in here. Oh yeah, I, I guess there is. You could probably hide some important things in here. Things? You mean like items or events? Items. You know, money, movies, books, blueprints. You're, I mean, I thought, how did you find out so quickly? I've been watching Jared forever. And once I saw the control van pull up and Jared taking you out, I knew. Alright, sure. I know about the blueprints. Who doesn't? But they could be anywhere. What makes you think they're in here? <sighs> oh, please. No matter which side you work for, spies are spies. We think alike. It made the most sense that it would be in here. Plus, I saw the men hooking up your room. That's when everything fell into place for me. Why would you get mixed up with them? I thought- You thought we'd go to college together, get married in ten years, and live happily ever after on a rolling hill on the countryside. But welcome to real life. They paid the best, and their benefits were the best out of every other organization. I might be 15 like you, but I'm not stupid. I thought I wouldn't have to fight a Chaos Kid agent. You're right, Mark. Even if you did fight me personally, you still wouldn't be fighting a Chaos Kid agent. What's that supposed to mean? You figure it out. Now, are you going to tell me where the plans are? No. Suit yourself. I'll make you tell. Attack. Whoa, there are four guys here! Oh, Vinny, you know, I've blown out the window. Oh, you must have the mod bot. He's really good. Oh, got you now, little shit. Basher, what are you doing? Watch it. This room is rich. It's giving me weapon. 
Clearly, I've underestimated you. I'll be seeing you later. Wait! Let the agencies act how they want to. We don't have to be like this. Maybe I haven't underestimated you after all. Uh, how do you call headquarters on this thing? Hello? This is Control. Go ahead, Agent 11. Oh, uh, this must be built in, huh? Affirmative. Have you anything to report? Uh, yeah, I was attacked. <sighs> By which chaos agent? I don't know her number. Just know her name, Gabrielle West, with four expendables. Roger. Uh, we have her on file. Please contact Agent 23 and report to headquarters. Right, and uh, who is Agent 23? Uh, I cannot say over the radio, but he has been with you for most of the day. Oh, okay, uh, Roger. Over and out. Over and out. You say she attacked you with four expendables. That's right, Chief. Chaos shouldn't know about you becoming an agent in just a matter of hours. Why didn't you call for me? I didn't know how. Chaos agents go by last name, not number. Agent West is on the list of kid agents, but she does not have the clearance to head up a mission or to command expendables. Maybe she got promoted or something. That's highly unlikely. Once we know about an agent, we usually follow them pretty closely. So, what could it possibly be? I don't know. Maybe it's just a new surprise tactic Chaos is trying. All I can suggest is to be on the move more. Do suspicious looking things to throw Chaos off the scent. Sure thing, Chief. Oh, uh, I'm getting a call. You're both dismissed. Thanks, Chief. Call me next time if you need me, Mark. Chief. What is it? I'm not sure how confidential this is. I wasn't sure I should say anything in front of Jared. I said to Agent West that I didn't think I'd be fighting any Chaos Kid agents, and she said that even if I had fought her personally, I still wouldn't be fighting a Chaos Kid agent. Did you ask her what she meant by that? Yeah, but she wouldn't say. Thank you for telling me, Mark. You've actually given me a helpful lead. What is it? I couldn't tell you that. Security clearance and all. I see. Well, thanks, Chief. You're welcome. Call into headquarters if you ever need help. Over here, Agent 11. I'm uh, here to take you back to your house. Okay. So, uh, what number are you? Whoa, oh, oh, there, there's very few adult agents in control. I'm an expendable. And you don't mind that? No, not at all. Like most expendables, I was washed up. I didn't care if I lived or died. I was just existing, you know? So Control hired me to work for him. They pretty much gave me a new life. But, you know, in the back of my mind, I still think that if I die, I die. Yeah. So what? If the expendable rules are so indifferent, what's to stop them from being bribed by chaos? You kidding? <laughs> it happens all the time. But, yo, but, but being expendables, we're not gonna know about anything in the plan. I couldn't name one thing, one thing that Control does to protect this country. And because they never tell me. So, if chaos gets a hold of us, it don't matter. Because we got no information to give. I hate to interrupt, but... Has that car been following us ever since we got on the highway, or is that just me? Um, uh, which car? The black one with the codes on the locks and the K on all the door handles. Uh-oh. Hey, it's pulling up next to us. That guy in the window is holding something. That's a machine gun! Get down! What do we do? Stay down, unless you think you can shoot! Through closed windows? I'm getting off on this exit! Why? Because of the bridge there! Agent 11, get a bomb from the right next to you. This little thing? Yeah, that's the one. When I see so, throw it out the window. But the whole bridge will blow. Hang on, we're running on red light! Where are they? They're not too far behind. They have to stop for the truck. Perfect! We're over the bridge now. It's gonna collapse on the highway. It's our only hope! Ready? Now, throw it! Ugh. Got him. But we're not off the bridge yet. We're not gonna make it. I turned the car around, jump! But what about you? I'm an expendable, remember? This is what I was born to do. Jump and grab the tree! Now! <laughs> the bridge! How do 
I get out of this tree? Whoa! I'm slipping! Ah, ah, ooh, uh, ooh. Need a hand? I was climbing up to get you. Control sent another car to take you home. Everything happens so fast, doesn't it? Welcome to being a spy. My mom's not home. Uh, she probably got delayed because of the bridge. As long as she wasn't under the bridge. Hundreds dead, millions in damage. Are these blue pieces of paper worth that much? Well, sad as it is, yes. If Chaos got their hands on these plans, it would kill billions more. They might think that the plans are with you, which is why they would try to kill you. You know what? I'm getting my hands on these plans and ripping them up. Relax, dude. They're in the lockbox. And even if they weren't, you don't have the security clearance to see them. So what? You have to be killed. Well, there's got to be something I can... What's the matter? The box is open. Don't, don't look in there! I don't want to report you! You don't have to. There's nothing to see. What? What are you talking about? The blueprints are gone. You have been listening to Chaos and Control, Part 1, created and written by Michael Lanier. Starring in the cast were Parker Schmid as Mark, Michael Lanier as Jared, Laura Lanier as Gabrielle, Alex Schmid as The Expendable and several other various parts, and Caleb Davis as The Chief. The music was written and performed by Michael Lanier and Alex Schmid. And the sound effects and all other editing were done by Ethan Tyson. Join us next time for part two of Chaos in Control.